Okay. Mark, not our day today. What do you make of the game as a whole? Um, yeah, obviously disappointed to to lose the game as you are with any game, but really like the group. Really impressed with them from, from training from Thursday to their attitude and application today. Um, probably a little bit that they maybe opened themselves up a little bit more than they, they've done before. You know, I'm not completely sure, but um, it was quite an entertaining game, come very end to end. And uh, yeah, they got their goal in the first half. and. You know, credit to them, they really fought hard, they're fighting for their lives and putting bodies on the line and, you know, I thought we couldn't find that breakthrough today, but it weren't for the lack of trying. I thought there was some, some really good bits of interplay and there's some real good attacking in, in, intent as well. Um, but probably a little bit of fatigue setting, I think, for us. We looked a little bit leggy at stages of the game. Just as you felt that we were falling away, we come good again, but I thought the, uh, all, all the subs had a really good impact. Uh, frustrating to lose. Uh, one of the players in the first half, obviously. Um, so, but also, you know, it's good to see the whole squad. You know, um, we're learning more about each other all, all time, and I'm I'm governed by them at the moment. Like they are, they're, they're setting the examples, setting the standards, and we're here to support them and give them everything, everything we got. We're up against a team fighting for their lives today. I suppose chances were always going to be difficult to come by. Do you think the lads found it difficult to break down that low-lying Eastbourne defence? Yeah, definitely. And once they got got ahead then they got good numbers back but at the start of the game they were getting good numbers forward as well and it was a it was sort of definitely an end-to-end -end game um, probably two end-to-end -end for both managers but uh, from an entertainment point of view I thought there was two teams going going at it um, but yeah we'll, we'll refine things and, and we'll get we'll get better as we go along you learn you learn more in defeat but uh, what I've learned about the players from the Thursday training session and today they're a good honest bunch and they're, 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 there's some really good players in there and um, you know I want to give them that freedom to express themselves but it's not going to change overnight things will probably you know might be different um, a little bit and um, so you don't always see the fruits of your labour straight away and uh, it's very 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 early early stages but the one thing you look when you come in for is is the attitude the body language of the players and that like I was really really pleased with. With safety being all but a certainty, do you see these next few games as a great chance to really embed your style of play, understand the players we have, and see it more as a run into next season? Yeah, I think it's like I said to you in the week, it's assessment mode, it's seeing how we can help them, add value, and just finish the season as strong as we can. But it's also, they've earned the right to go and play a little bit more freer. They've worked hard this season, they've fought, they've had times where they were, you know, looking like they could be near the bottom and they fought their way out and we said to them in there they, they've earned the right they're good players and they're and from what i've seen it's very very early days and it's it's always easy to sort of be on your best behavior in the first week so now it's about consistently showing that attitude and we will refine and get, and get better i'm sure that we could have you know unfortunately you know brandon's had a great chance in the first half um, and then one minute later, we just missed a tackle in the middle of the pitch. They broke through, missed it a shot, and the guys, you know, followed it in. So that, that's a harsh reality of football. Looked like we were going to be one nil up, all of a sudden we're one nil down, and then they've got something to fight for and, and hang on to. So it was it was quite tight. But um, like I said, we we weren't too far away at all. We had a good following today. You're loved by the fans, and we've seen that uh, almost every week. How great is that for uh, them to be behind you again? Yeah, fantastic. Great to see uh, that in their numbers today. You know, gutted we can. Um, you know, get the victory f for them. Um, but you know, we'll, we'll be working just as hard. But you know, this, the squad's not massive at the moment. There's a lot of games coming thick and th uh, thick and thin. So there's not a lot of training time. There's not a lot of time to dwell on things. It's just like rolling with it into the next game. And uh, you know, another really tough one. AstroTurf onto AstroTurf. Two away travels and another way of travel. So certainly got a, a really tough end to the season. But. Like I said, we get to have a look at everyone then. You know, I'm sure every player associated with the club will be getting game time. We get to see us, you know, see our resilience, see us up against it. Um, so that's where you learn more about people. So as you mentioned there, we travel to Maidstone up next. What will preparations look like for you heading there? Well, get as much water and hydros in the boys as, as we can. They've had a cool down. They've obviously got a bit of a travel back now. So yeah, you're almost relying on the players to be as professional as they can away from the club. We will prep the game the best we can for them. Um, and like I said, it's not can't be throwing too much info on them. Like I said, we're in full assessment mode. We're looking how things run, how things go, um, and it, it's not about me putting all my stamp on this at the moment. You know, you, th th this is going to be a staged approach. You probably won't see. And
anything like what we how what we do till probably next season. Um, and now it's just looking at looking at the players and which ones want to be here to do that. And at the moment, I'm looking at a lot of enthusiastic, good players. In there. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Cheers, Mark. Thank, Thank you. Much. Cheers.